How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play Adventure Quest episode. So remember how I failed miserably at the end of the last episode? Yeah, I did it again off camera and I finally got it. Now, I also did upgrade some of my equipments as you guys will see later and uh, got some other equipment from other shops that are really easily accessible. I uh, initially wanted to do dessert set part 2 for this uh, episode's quest but I realized that you can't access part 2 unless you continue from finishing part 1 so if I want to access part 2 of the quest I'm going to have to play part 1 all over again and then I'm going to have to continue from there there is literally no way to start from part 2 itself which is uh, I, I hate that sometimes I hate that like why so it's a really super long quest and I figured, okay, I am very near to max level, there is no point for me to uh, upgrade my equipment right now, instead I should be saving up the goal to upgrade my equipment so that uh, I can get enough gold at max level for adventures which is 135 in order for me to uh, buy all the best equipment that I need. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to hold off until I max level before I start doing the Mastercraft set quest because I will have to redo all of the quests all over again. You can't up, uh, upgrade Mastercraft set items from the uh, AQ item upgrader. So I'm going to, have to redo all the quests instead uh, when I reach max level. So why not just don't do them right now and focus on other things. So I've been farming a lot off camera as you guys can see. Uh, 8 million go already. Train up the stats. Boy they are expensive to train up. So Dexterity and Charisma is now 250. I unchained the intelligence stat and then I chained up some luck which is now at 35. Okay, I'm also level 113. Uh, I have not done any farming yet today. I will do it off camera after this episode. So, we are very very close to reaching max level. We'll probably get it done. I don't know man. Uh, really depends on my schedule. But yeah, today's episode we will be going on to do the Assassin class quest. Now, Assassin is a pretty powerful class to be really honest uh, for mid levels like around uh, here you uh, the assassin is a uh, pretty good class to have. now wait why did I get rejected uh, the level 10 ninja and level 5 scholar what okay guess not uh, level 10 ninja right where do you go to become a ninja hmm Berserker, Skybridge, yeah, Ninjutsu Temple, Ninja Training. Alright, let's do some Ninja Training. Being level 113, this should be a cakewalk, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quest, let's go. Okay, what is a ninja? Okay, what? Level 10 Rogue, wow, okay. And I realized that from the very start, I have not trained finished my Rogue class. Okay, uh, how do I train rope class again? Hmm. Oh boy, was it from Valencia? Uh. Man, how do you train rope class? Archery shop, okay, yeah, uh. There it is, go to close spot. Yep, and we did not finish up rope training, it was quite a while back because of our crappy levels, so we couldn't finish that. So let us quest now, become a rope. Okay, rope is already level 7, so now we can finish all the way up to level 10 really quickly. And, well, I didn't know uh, Assassin had that many requirements, so you actually have to be like, uh, like what, really low level or something. Ooh, okay, this is a nice snowy color for Neko, okay, uh, weapons, we want to use wind, uh, let's see here, wind, what wind weapon do I have, I don't have a wind weapon, uh, fire, energy, or light, okay, let's try the new long bows that I got, uh, pets, wind, 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 uh, shiny, wooza, unifier, zef and Nili. yep, let's start, Earth, light. Okay, anyone will do. Just call the soul one out. Oh wow, that's really short. Nice. Holy moly. Okay, yeah, we are definitely tearing things through right now. Uh, don't need to rest. 
Okay, you can see here now everything is becoming really easy for us. So you can just one shot the monsters here. Come on. Don't disappoint me. Thank you. Next. <coughs> so yeah, it's a real cakewalk now. And what am I doing uh, this quest, you might be asking. It's, it's mostly just for completion's sake, I guess. Uh, because, you know, I want to have everything... Uh, level up, you know, I want all my class quests to be done, I want all the, uh, basically I just want everything to be maxed out on this character like it is for my uh, main guardian character, so my main guardian character I already maxed out all the classes possible, I hope to achieve that on this character as well, it's not something necessary, I would say it's just something that I want, sort of more like a personal goal, uh, per se, so actually I don't even know, bother, I don't even know why, uh, I bother to switch, probably don't even need to, so yeah. Uh, let's see, energy or light. Man, this gas hits super hard. I, the gas is probably doing more damage than I am. Dexterity, this will be a cakewalk. Whatever. Harvu the mole. Okay, fine. My darkness resistance is actually pretty high. Shield, do I actually have a darkness shield? Yeah, Luna Defender is the darkness shield. Now I remember. Wait, what? I clicked on it or something. Ooh, Luna Defender is the water shield. It's not the darkness shield. Hmm. I don't have a water shield. This is wind, energy, water, water. What? I thought this. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Probably don't need Luna Defender now. I have now that I have Pies, but oh well, uh, whatever. And of course, I forgot to equip Bowmaster Emblem. See, you can still one hit him. Probably not. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, goodbye. Nice. Alright, so another thing that I want to talk about is the stat build for this class. I'm not really sure uh, how else I should invest my stats. I'm thinking endurance or luck. Uh, probably not strength or intellect. That would be pretty useless. So let me know what you guys think. How should I continue to invest my stats in this uh, class? Should I continue to... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, extra 40 charisma, why the heck not? Uh, water. Yeah, this one does have a water weapon. Uh, ice then. So, do you guys think I should invest the rest of my stat points into endurance or luck? I was thinking more of luck. Not many builds actually use endurance. I haven't played a defensive uh, Beastmaster Ranger before, so I don't really know what the expectations are. I guess. Why do you regenerate on the first turn? That's weird. So I guess uh, I might do luck. Uh, let me know down in the comments below which is better. Should I do luck or should I do. Uh, Endurance because I don't think any build uses endurance. I could be wrong because I've never played this build before, obviously. So, yeah, uh, luck or endurance. I'm leaning more towards luck because I think luck has more utility both for dodging BTH and your lucky strikes uh, as opposed to uh, endurance, whereby HP is not really a thing uh, since you can just kill monsters before they kill you. But this is a endurance defensive build, so maybe you have HP. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Man, these new bows are really strong. Really like it. What tree hit? Okay. Dexterity hmm. six. Well, thank God we got our dexterity stat maxed out. Cat food Stevens. Water or wind? Uh, the heck? I don't have a water or a wind weapon. 
How is that possible? Oh yeah. Stupid wooden stuff takes up one slot. Oh well. Ice, energy, light or darkness. Let's try this. I haven't tried this weapon yet. Alchemist's darkness. Ooh, okay. I guess it deals pretty decent damage. Yeah, the damage is decent. Not bad. Alright. Now the last one. Okay, we are really blazing through this. So this is really nice. I like that. Let's start. Alright. Wait, what? Another one? I thought that was the boss already. Apparently not. Okay. We'll go for another one. Man, the gas hits super hard, guys. Are you seeing those numbers? That's crazy. That's really crazy. Oops, forgot to equip Bowmaster Emblem. I guess it's fine. Yep, still one shotting again. You can do over 400 damage per turn now, which is really good, even though you are a defensive build. So nice. Orc Bandit. I have no idea why you use Regenerate the first time. I guess that's good for us. He's gonna get crushed. Okay, more dexterity. Let's go. Of course, we're going to pass that easily. Oh, boy, guys. This is the last guy. Darkness or energy? Uh, let's do darkness. Hmm. Kind of lost ravens, I guess. He doesn't really matter. We can probably one shot this guy, right? I think. Oh wow, there's some insane damage right there. Yeah, totally one shot. Nice. Uh, wait, what? Only a guardian could handle it. Okay, fine. Guardian done. Now let's do some ninja training. Wonder if we can power through this uh, within this episode. Hmm. Let's see how long it will take. Uh, ninjutsu Temple, next ninja training. Yes, yes, skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the ninja quest. Alright, Mummy Kane. Yeah, we can probably power through everything this episode. Uh, now that we are level 100 plus. This shouldn't be too hard. Call the soul style cut shield down 500 plus damage. Can we do the amount of damage in one turn if I tried? Let's see here. Pets, but Looney Fighter isn't uh, level up yet, just so you guys know. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do the amount of damage in one turn, I believe. Okay, maybe not. Close, close 400 plus damage. I guess that's pretty good too for a defensive build. Dexterity, this should be easy. Yep. Lazan, alright. Uh, energy weapons, pets. <coughs> Woo, that was easy. Nice. Yes, let's go. What is this monster? Okay, I haven't seen this before. This, uh, based off the artwork, it looks like it's a really old monster. Fire or energy? Stick with energy then, I guess. Really odd and disturbing looking monster. Tentacles is a hole on the top. It's everything you don't want to see basically. Well, it's everything of it is a monster basically. So yeah Let's do the burn thingy Why not? Forty-nine 
100% guess that's okay. Next, Ruby Golem. Oh, this guy. Right, he can blind you. Now I remember. Uh, of course, I'm going to endure that. Destruction. No, not Destruction Diamond. Why did I use that? I don't think I'll need to use anything. Whoops, forgot to switch to Zeph and Eli instead. Uh, okay, I guess this guy doing energy burns is fine. <clears throat> yep, the energy burns work out in the end, so that's fine. Okay, Tarot Pain. Fire or ice will stay fire. Yeah, this is gonna hurt him a lot. See how much damage the pet can do. 83, okay, that was kind of disappointing. Expecting the pet to do a lot more. I think the. Oh. Wait, what? Not enough SP. Oh boy. Okay, let's regain some SP. Let's Jade Sharp Protector. Mm. Oh, this monster again. I've seen you before. Shields. Let's get the Shield of Agony's Blood that heals you SP for each time the monster misses. Uh, light. Okay, let's not use the emblem since you want to recover some SP. Leave you have enough blocking. Yeah, there should be enough blocking to dodge. Okay, didn't. That was a disturbing attack. Yay, level two. Okay. Uh, everything is going pretty fast, which is nice. Exactly what I want. Eighteen only, seriously. Uh, if I was a mage, this would probably be down in one turn, but I'm not, so I guess we have to take it slow, but I believe we still can get it done. SP, I like that. These ninja quests have quite a lot of battles, to be honest. <coughs> You could have killed that with the second hit. Not sure why this is that sudden low damage. Okay, next one. Oh, mini. Okay. Handle this guy. Yep. Darkness or wind? Let's do darkness. Dexterity checks. Okay, another Jade Sharp Protector. Oh, this one is a different one. Wind. Okay, energy.
Let's do the burning thing. Okay, whatever. Done. Level 3. Next. So, ah, this monster. Okay. Uh, water. Okay, this is Luna, right? I believe this is Luna. Water, water. I don't have a water weapon. Uh, ice or darkness? Let's take darkness. Can you click on this? No, you can't. It's just like that. Die already. Come on, come on. Nice. Let's continue. Demon Spectre. Hmm. Oh, this is definitely an old school monster. You can tell from the artwork, guys. Just look at it. Yeah. For well, you guys who are new to the channel or have not played this game in a very long time, uh, basically, if you are a returning player, this will probably bring, uh, bring back quite a lot of nostalgia for you. And of course, the Undead Fire Giant as well. You can see here, this was what the artwork looks like in the old days. As compared to today, I guess the Soul Style Cut Shield and the uh, Neko Armor that I'm using is uh, modern artwork compared to the olden artwork. So, yeah. Ooh. Karate is her middle name, and don't you forget that. Ooh, this, this looks like an interesting monster, definitely. Karatika. Oh, nice. Uh, these are. I thought you actually see this monster in the martial artist quest. I'm not sure if uh, you do see. Uh, it's been such a long time since I last played that. But we'll get to that quest in a bit. Once we are done with this. Uh, no, not this episode. Other episodes. You know. Right, so water. No water. Fire. Definitely don't want to attack with fire. Darkness. Water like abyss rest right here. Okay, not doing as much damage as I hope. Probably cause it's only hundred percent resistance, but okay. We will take that. Come on, finish it. Yes, nice. Another dexterity check, alright, J sharp protector next. Yep. Here we go, light. I think it's faster if we just don't call the different cut shiro. Let's stay with this guy. Yeah, he's still doing decent damage. You are going to morph into that crazy thing. Okay, you can do that. We are still going to kill you this turn. Alright, done. Ninja level 4. Take the quest. What's my timing on the video now? About 24 minutes long. Okay. Can you finish level 10 today? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure how long the subsequent quest will take. It doesn't take too long. I guess we'll finish up level 10 in uh, Ninja in this episode. Then we can work on Scholar next episode. Hmm. 24 minutes. Our time is pretty good so far. I'm just speed running through this and the fact that it's all dexterity checks and me having uh, 250 dexterity really helps a lot now the boost 
uh, for the stat, the boost for the stat rolls, they basically cap out at plus 50. Whether your 200 main stat or 250 main stat, it still caps out at plus 50. I hope that they will add a bigger boost because the extra 50 stat points doesn't give any boost to stat rolls. And you know, stat rolls are one of the most annoying things in this game. I mean, I mean they've added the option to defy it with SP, but sometimes you just don't have enough SP. So uh, just a small quality of life improvement uh, since you raise the stat. Uh, the maximum stat for uh, players to 250 maybe consider increasing the stat roll boost a little bit more than uh, having it at 50 cap maybe uh, I'm not sure what's the rate on that I think uh, it's 4 you get 4 okay wait Two, at 200 you get plus 50 so uh, 200 you get plus 50 so sort of like a quarter point for every point of stat that you put inside I think if I maths isn't wrong oh man I can't do math uh, I can't do math right now while I'm playing through this so yeah maybe they can increase it to plus 60 or I don't know I don't know what's the number guys uh, my brain isn't working but you get the idea just increase the maximum boost that you can get uh, for stat rolls now that I'll uh, stat cap has been increased to 250. That'll be really nice. Okay, next one. Okay, you can see that the monsters are getting higher level, so I can't exactly one shot everything. Ooh, I hate triple monsters like these. Wait, are they considered one? I think they are considered one. That's good. Because that doesn't limit my damage per turn. Are they actually considered one group? Oh, oh no, this is annoying thing again. Yeah, you can keep calling reinforcements. Okay, but he's dead. Okay, nice. Okay, let's go. Class quest level 6. Now, the old class quest, they were pretty boring. All you do is just fight a bunch of monsters and level up. The new one nowadays, uh, they get some mini games in between and like. You basically get to do other things apart from killing, just blindly killing these kind of small monsters, which is nice, I guess. Why did I even bother to switch my shield? I, there wasn't a need to. These are simple monsters. Necro's bow, finally you get to test out the new Necro's bow, guys. Woo, that hit really hard, nice. Can I see a special on the Necro's Bow, please? Nope, no special there. Give me a special now. Yeah. Wow, guys, you see that damage? That was insane. Some insane damage right there. Oh boy, another one of these. Ice. Man, I really do hate these monsters. Calling for reinforcements and all that. Just give me the full HP bar. Yep. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny if you read the text. Ooh, he caught two instead of one this time. <coughs> Man, I need to update the horror show equipment as well. I'm not dealing a lot of damage. What? You better not call anymore. Okay, he didn't. Okay, nice. Sawbot. Water. Again, I don't have a water weapon. I do have is a water pet. Oops. Should have done ice. Should have done energy instead. I quite like the design of this monster, I think it looks really cool, the saw, the wheels, the moving back and forth and everything, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool looking monster. What in the world is that outside my window? Oh, weird things again. 
I'm always getting weird noises outside my window. Usually it's just the traffic. Now there's some random drums playing. Not sure what that is all about. Chinese. Maybe it's the Chinese New Year period. Not sure. Oh, why is it so low? Energy is only 50%. Jeez. What am I doing, guys? What am I doing? I got distracted. I got distracted. Uh. Nice. Okay, so the rows are getting harder and harder, but with the plus 50, it's still very easy for me to pass the stat rows. Okay, now we got this undead clubber dude. Uh, weapons, light, obviously. Items. They're basically just renamed monsters. They're just renamed into Jade Sharp Protectors. This is the real name of this monster, I believe. It's called Undead Clubber. Okay, let's go. Nice. Yeah, we are powering through these quests. Alright, level 6. Oh! Oh, okay, fine. You can still train, you just can't use higher abilities. I like that they add that disclaimer there. That's really good. Uh, ambush this one. Oh, this is an annoying monster. See, his defenses. Yeah, it's pretty high defenses. I should probably heal up as well. I don't want to die in the middle of something stupid like this. I guess we have enough SP now, let's just use Pies for the Charisma boost. Okay, nice. Crystal Hound. Okay, what this is... What? What are those resistances? What are those resistances? Okay, I guess we'll use Darkness Pets. Okay, this guy, uh, he doesn't have a lot of HP, which is good. Water or wind? Let's just do this. Yeah. See, this is why I always carry a... Uh, this is why I like Coral Show Void Vanquisher. The harm option means that at least I'm dealing at least 100% damage and not... Something stupid like 14% or 9% damage. That that is just ridiculous. That battle will drive me crazy, man. Yeah, 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 it's an ambush. Okay, nice lucky strikes. Okay. We are done. Next, let's continue. Bigfoot. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. It's been a long day. Man, going through all these class quests really brings back a lot of nostalgia for AQ, you know, how I used to play it when I was a kid. So, at what age do you guys actually start playing AQ? Do let me know down in the comments below. I believe I actually started pretty young. Uh, what was it? There were people playing in my school, basically. So, my school, they actually had this corner uh, where they had computers. Uh, and you could go ahead and use these computers to play games. Uh, actually, that's that's what people actually do during their recess break, which is uh, go and play games on the computer. So uh, back then, I was in primary school. So uh, in Singapore, for my non-Singaporean viewers, you go to primary school between the age of six to twelve. So six years and my primary school had these row of computers where you could go and play games during your recess time which is half an hour. Some people usually don't eat and they would just go there and play games. Uh, I used to do that so yeah it was pretty good times I guess and 
uh, that was how I discovered this game. Back in the day, it was just Adventure Quest and Dragon Fable and Mech Quest. Yep, these three were the most popular games that people were playing. There wasn't AQ Worlds here. AQ Worlds only came when I was in upper primary. So yeah, uh, we only had the old AE classics. AQ, Mech Quest, Dragon Fable. That was all we had. Back then, uh, these classic games obviously have a lot more stuff without uh, AQ Worlds around and all the other new games. So uh, I believe the frequency at which we got releases was about the same. Maybe more often. I didn't really, I didn't really take note at that point of time because one, I wasn't making videos. Two, I was just a kid, so I didn't really notice like what's the frequency at which they update their game. But uh, it was still. Pretty fun back then, they had all these, uh, back then these kind of graphics, they were the in thing, so it's like, uh, compared to the games nowadays, you have like, ooh, super HD, super realistic graphics. Back in the day, these graphics were considered top notch, guys, so yeah. And I kind of like it that they didn't, uh, that they left some of the old quests in, like they didn't update all of the quests. I mean, I believe some old quests should stay as it is. Class quests are fine because they are mostly used for low level characters and not end game characters. So maybe low level players who come in, they can see like, oh, this is how the game originally used to look. Though of course some people, uh, especially newer players uh, who just came in might not know. Oh man, this game has uh, absolute, absolutely crap graphics, I'm not going to play. But, I, uh, some people still like the graphics of these sort of games, I guess. So yeah, uh, it's nice that they kept that in there and didn't update it. Of course, some classes have been updated like the, what was that, the fighter, the knight classes, uh, that was recently updated. Then, okay, not that recent anymore, I guess, there is... I heard the Paladin and Necromancer classes are getting an update, but that was like since last year. Back when they were doing uh, the war, when the sub racers got an update. Yeah, I heard that was coming, but it still hasn't come yet, and it's already 2020. I guess it will come this year. Uh, back then, there was also a lot of hype around this class, if you guys do not know. Uh, Archmage class, I guess it will never be here. Um, yeah, it's a great shame. I wish that they still had Archmage inside of the game or the staff will actually continue uh, to implement Archmage. I really like the concept. Uh, back then, I didn't really take note of it. I think that was the time whereby I semi quitted the game. Didn't really take note of this uh, Archmage class, but now that I'm back and I'm looking back at the history, I believe the Archmage class would have been really cool. That being said, uh, Mages. Uh, already super meta nowadays so I guess you could say you could also argue it's a good thing that they did not make another mage based class because then uh, it the player base as oversaturated as it is it's already super oversaturated which with mage and align later built so yeah I'd like to see them moving more towards the direction of defensive rangers and beastmasters like my current build right now that'll be nice Okay, Chimera, you should be going down soon. Man, these monsters are getting a lot more HP and I'm almost hitting the 40 minute mark on this video. Jeez. Should I just continue the next episode? I don't like to make episodes too long because I know people don't usually like to watch super long episodes. I myself don't like to watch super long videos. Uh, I will say 15 minute videos are my max. I won't, I you generally won't sit through and watch the whole video if it's like 40 minutes long. Just skip certain parts, you know what I mean? But maybe you guys enjoy it. So, yeah, I think I'll just cut it after we are done and we'll finish up the rest next week. I don't want to like uh, try to cram it in the video just for the sake of cramming it in. I don't think you guys like that also. So, yeah. Uh, pets, let's switch to Undead Fire Giant. So, after this uh, level, we will continue the rest of the levels in the next episode. And we will do the Scholar class, and hopefully, once we get that done, we can start moving on to the Assassin class. So, yeah, in the meanwhile, I will still continue to farm off camera, save up gold for end game equipment, and of course, get more XP. Right, 
70. Wow, okay, it's getting a little bit tougher now. Water, I don't care. Uh, energy. This will be a great time to see how much damage I can. How much burn damage I can inflict. Alright, let's go. 38. Hundred and fifteen, there's a five point three burn, okay. Okay, guess that's the end of that monster. Level eight, two more levels. We will continue that next week. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more such future content. And till the next time, I'm your host Corban Gaming. Peace out.